opportunity to, uh, to explain a little bit what we, are, what we are doing. I am not a lawyer to start with, as, uh, I'm closer to, to Pete and, and what he's been doing. So it's also very good, I think, with the uh, presentation from Peter because you could have a, a flavor of what is the job of, um, uh, of a researcher now, which is extremely complex. Um, I think you just got a flavor and the specificity also of the, this um, department, uh, this DG that I represent is that uh, uh, we, as uh, the European Commission through DG Research, we fund researchers. Uh, Pete mentioned the project Future TDM, which is one of the projects that we fund through uh, Science Within for Society. But also we fund projects in different fields, environment, transportation, etc. So when you see one difficulty in one field, you can multiply it by all the different fields. Um, I don't have a presentation, I just have a note presentation, but I would like to go uh, quickly through it, otherwise I would speak for half an hour. Um, there are indeed lots of myths concepts about text and data mining, and I think for a couple of years, and thanks to uh, institutions like the department, but also lots of work initiated with the Commission starting with licenses, um, licenses for Europe a couple of years ago, um, TDM became a little bit um, a focus. Uh, it was an issue which for us is very important, uh, representing research and innovation, but uh, for many stakeholders, research and innovation is not that important. So I think in a remit of copyright, TDM represents only one little aspect, but it's a very, very important aspect, especially when the Commission, the Parliament and Member States themselves put so much emphasis on the importance of research and innovation mm -hmm. for development of goods, employment, etc., etc. We are using, um, we are used to working with uh, various stakeholders. Uh, you're on the table represents some of the stakeholders. Um, of course, in DG research, we are closer traditionally to, uh, to the academics. Uh, in particular, the, uh, the representatives of uh, universities, but also research librarians, and also innovators, etc. But I will try to speak with, uh, with one voice. Uh, the European Commission has many brains, many heads, but uh, tries to speak with, uh, with one voice. And, uh, and just give you a few, uh, a few thoughts. The objective, I th one of the objectives, one of the many objectives, I think, of the European Commission is uh, when it comes to research and innovation is to optimize the impact of publicly funded research. And this is why um, uh, what Pete tried to uh, explain to you is, is important. There's a question of time. Time is money, money spent, uh, overspent, respent, that uh, none of us want. Uh, I say us, I mean us because as the Commission we fund research. Uh, but also all of us around the table because our governments also fund, uh, fund research. So we try to be coherent in the European Commission with you know, what we preach and what we do, uh, what we say to member states and try to make, e.g. with the revision of the Capital Directive and what we try also to find our solutions for, uh, for the own research that we, that we fund. So we have different strategies, and one of the strategies is the digital single market. What also is quite important to, uh, to stress uh, in the life of researchers, uh, a big difference with, um, with the producers of cultural products is that uh, scientific researchers are both the producers, the authors of goods, but they're also uh, the consumers and the readers which is not necessarily the case for us when we consume cultural products, for instance. And uh, as authors, scientific researchers are not paid. For, they don't have um, any kind of fair remuneration or um, uh, um, uh, royalties, etc. Researchers uh, in universities, in publicly funded research centers, are paid to do the research job, which includes 
disseminating the results to their peers, which includes also peer reviewing, results of others, etc. And all this is done for free, in a sense it's part of their job. So that puts also a different, um, a different aspect, I think, on the issue of, of copyright. Um, and the parenthesis, they're not completely stupid. Of course, they don't have a financial reward, but their reward is to be cited by their peers. So there's another mechanism in place for the evaluation of, of their research. We saw that text and data mining, which is not a kind of nickname that we're all using, at least in Brussels, uh, concerns text, with all the difficulties with the text, but also uh, data. And, and data, we could add also some audiovisual uh, aspect and archaeology, artifacts, etc. So data means a lot of different um, um, results of, of, of research. Um, maybe we'll talk later about, um, about licenses, but um, maybe if there are some questions, but I, I wouldn't like to talk <coughs> right now about the licenses, but also rather about our experience during the last couple of years. Um, we, we see that uh, the year uh, 2015 is quite rich of um, uh, analysis, especially from the three uh, main uh, European institutions. We heard about the uh, communication from the Commission from the uh, 6th of May, the communication on the, on the digital single market. I don't want to read the text, but I mean, if, you, if you have a look at, um, at the section on TDN, you will see, for instance, the fact that the Commission talks about innovation in research for both non-commercial and commercial purposes, which I think is quite interesting, and I'll say a few words about that. Um, the Commission talks about unclear legal framework, about divergent approaches at national level, talks about enabling researchers to make a wider use of material, talking about also cross-border collaboration because uh, research is completely international. <coughs> so that's one thing. Second thing also, which was the second document that was important this year are the conclusions from the Council a few months later, end of May. Uh, the 28 member states uh, made this uh, um, um, declaration on uh, open and data intensive uh, research, talking, of, talking about the promotion of innovation driven by TDM, taking into account research needs, etc. So, also 28 member states agreeing on, um, on, on the fact that we have to talk about TDM. And last but not least, uh, in the European Parliament in, uh, in July, the adoption uh, of, the, of the report uh, that was um, headed by uh, Yulia Reda. Uh, I like also the, the, the point 48. It's, uh, okay, it, it, it asks the Commission, or it stresses the need to uh, properly assess uh, TDM uh, but I think it, it shows at least uh, uh, a basic consensus in the Parliament on, on which uh, some of you around the table here can, uh, can work. Now, what do we have? We have, and again, I'm not a lawyer, but if I understand the legislation from 2001, there was a legislator at the time, and they tentatively addressed the specific situation of scientific research, and that's a famous uh, exception. Now we're in 2015, soon 2016, and this is where the legislator, the new legislator, can um, update, fine-tune the original um, exception for research and find a long-term solution. Um, so without entering into the details, uh, we have, uh, we indeed research being close to, uh, to researchers, to, um, uh, to the various academics, we have our little ideas that maybe I can talk about uh, uh, during the, the Q's and A's. But we, what, where are we now? So now we see uh, with the revision of the copyright directive, we, we have TDM, which is one aspect. We make it quite big. Uh, this evening, uh, because this is uh, our focus, our, our center of attention, but it's only one aspect. I think the Commission wants to be uh, pragmat pragmatic, uh, wants to, uh, to have a, a targeted copyright modernization, and uh, what is uh, being proposed, since it's 
it's a very complex, very rich dossier. Uh, it's, and I think it's not a secret, I mean, the, this has been said now for a couple of weeks in Brussels, is to have uh, a communication by the end of this year that will uh, set the scene and put forward the working plan for this uh, uh, modern uh, modernization of the, the copyright environment in the EU. And that would be the first step uh, with uh, tackling a few, um, uh, a few specific copyright issues that are not of direct interest to TDM. But in that second step, which is uh, scheduled for uh, spring 2016, then we would have a complete set of legislative proposal and uh, solutions. Uh, and this is where we could, uh, we could see uh, TDM um, tackled. It's, it's a work which is in the making. Uh, you can understand that for, for us, for all the colleagues in, uh, in the commission, for the, also the, the top management, it's never um, nice to delay a little bit the things. It would have been, of course, much better to, to come up with, uh, as promised, to come up with a proposal by the end of this year. But uh, as you know, it's been so, uh, so difficult to tackle all the, the aspects. Um, that this, this, appeared, uh, this <coughs> appeared necessary. To finish, um, I would like to say that uh, the, I'm very proud of the dialogue that we always have had uh, on, the, on TDM uh, during the last uh, couple of years, in particular since the, uh, the experience of licenses for Europe. Um, in particular, the academics really uh, showed their muscle, they, they wanted to, to be heard, and I think they, they have been heard in Brussels. There have been a few, uh, some press releases, uh, workshops, etc. There's also the famous uh, The Hague Declaration that was launched in, uh, uh, in, uh, in May this year. So you have uh, academics, open access publishers. I don't think that the publishers are all the same. You have also some reads of open access publishers that, that try to find solutions. Uh, innovative industries, I, I didn't talk a lot about industries, but innovative industries also have been very helpful in the di dialogue during the, the, the last couple of years. And those stakeholders, and some of you around the table, are helping us to, to, find, uh, to find a solution. What we want in the end as a conclusion, and I say we, it's a collective because I think I can really uh, uh, say it's the commission also, is to, to give European researchers and European innovators the best conditions to do their job. And uh, finding some solutions uh, for uh, data analytics, for text and data mining, I think is, is part of, uh, of what we're trying to do. Thank you.